Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. In today's What's for Dinner video, I'll be sharing with you what meals we had this past week. This video is a little different than my normal What's for Dinner videos. This week was fall break, so my husband and I went with my parents and two youngest siblings to Georgia and we stayed in a cabin there. We ate out a couple times and we ate dinner at the cabin a few nights. So let's get into this week's dinners. For dinner this first night, we ordered Jersey Mike's. I was super busy this day cleaning and packing and getting ready to head out of town. And my husband was super busy with work, you know, just trying to get everything in order so that he could go on vacation and, and not have to work as much as possible. So time got away from me this day. And I said, hey, let's just order dinner. And my husband had been craving Jersey Mike's. So that's what we ordered. I got their Chipotle Philly cheesesteak. And then my husband got there. I don't remember exactly what kind of sandwich, what the name was of his sandwich, but it was some kind of an Italian sub. And that's that was our dinner this night. Dinner the next night was our first night in Georgia. We had arrived at about 4, 4.30, and so we got settled into the cabin, and then my mom and sister and I left and went to Walmart to get groceries. After we got groceries, we just ran through the drive through at Crystal. You know, we had just been driving all day, and then at the grocery store, and we still had to unpack and put the groceries in. So we just grabbed some crystals for a quick and easy dinner. We got some plain crystals, some cheese crystals, a couple of chicks for my brother. And then we got some chili cheese fries that we kind of just shared. And that was our dinner this night. Dinner this next night was at the cabin. We did pulled pork. My dad had made pulled pork a month or so ago and had a ton of leftovers. He had put it in his freezer, so they pulled it out of the freezer and brought it with them, and we just heated it up. Here are the buns, and when I heated up the pork, I heated up half of it with barbecue sauce, half without, and when I was heating it up, I just did it on um, the stove over a like medium to low flame, and I added just a couple tablespoons of water. Now, I have a video where I show how I make my pulled pork, which is basically how my dad makes it and I'll list that in the description box below if you'd like to see how we make it and then we have some chips and then coleslaw baked beans potato salad and macaroni salad we just got the sides and the chips at Walmart and then on this particular day my brother a little bit before dinner had bit his tongue and he bit it really really badly and the poor thing bless his heart he was trying to eat dinner but it hurt so he really wasn't able to eat anything and I felt so bad for him. I ordered DoorDash. Uh, I think it was from Walgreens. I just got some ice cream delivered to the cabin. And then I already had brought this candy from home. So for our dessert, well, really my brother's dinner, we just had some ice cream and candy while we watched a movie. And that was our dinner this night. For dinner the next night, we grilled hamburgers and hot dogs. So we have some of the buns. And then for our hamburgers and hot dogs, I've mentioned this before on my channel, but just in case you're new or you missed that video, when we grill burgers and dogs, we like to grill half of them with barbecue sauce. Not everyone in the family loves it that way, but my mom, my husband, and I do, especially the barbecued hot dogs. They are delicious. And then I put some cheese on a couple of the burgers. And then we have, you know, all the toppings for the burgers. So some lettuce, tomato, onion, ketchup, mayo, relish mustard and then we have some of the leftover sides from the pulled pork and then I was worried that we didn't have enough or that we wouldn't have enough sides so I did a DoorDash order from a local barbecue restaurant and just got an extra side of potato salad coleslaw some macaroni and cheese and then I warmed up the baked beans that were left over from the night before and then I got a little sample of their um, Brunswick stew my dad likes Brunswick stew so I got that for him to try and that was our dinner this night and then for dessert we um, just did a fire pit outside and made some s'mores and that was our dinner and dessert this night dinner the next night we were back home now while we were in georgia my husband and i had people painting the interior of our house and we were hoping that they would be done by the time we got back but they weren't done just yet which was fine but um i wasn't really able to cook at dinner you know they were still working and going in and out of the kitchen and you know, just kind of doing their thing. And so we decided to just order Chinese takeout that way we were out of their way and not, you know, in the kitchen. I got the sweet and sour pork combo, which came with fried rice and an egg roll. My husband got the sesame chicken with lo mein and an egg roll. And then we got some crab rangoons and that was our dinner this night. And like I said, if you're a regular viewer to my channel, you know that the like I said, this week's video is unusual. We normally don't eat out multiple times in a week. But, you know, I feel like sometimes when you go on vacation, you're so busy. 
going up to it. And then sometimes when you get back from a vacation, you kind of need a vacation almost by the time you, you know, unpack everything and get everything put back up and you're traveling and all that. So like I said, next week's video will be more back to normal, but it was such a fun week being able to spend time with family. And, you know, I'm glad that we were able to get our house paint situation taken care of. But anyway, that was our dinner this night. Just quick Chinese takeout. For dinner the next night, I made crock pot cranberry orange chicken. I will be showing how I make the chicken in an upcoming Croctober recipe, so keep an eye out for that. But to go along with that, I decided to make a cranberry almond rice pilaf. I've made this recipe before and it's really good. It seems really simple and it is, but it's delicious. So in this pot, I'm going to add in some butter and then I'm going to add in rice. I decided to use basmati rice. I am then going to add in my dried cranberries, give that a stir and cook this for about a minute. Now this recipe is from Valerie Bertinelli from the Food Network. I'll include a link to the recipe in the description box below. I'm veering just a little bit off of her recipe, uh, which I'll make the notes in the description box below of what I did differently. Basically, I didn't toast the almonds because I'm using already toasted almonds, and I didn't do an onion just because... Quite honestly, I was feeling lazy and didn't feel like cutting up a little bit of onion for this. <laughs> but anyway, after a minute, I'm going to add in my chicken broth. Give that a stir. Then I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Give that another stir and then bring this to a boil. Once it's at a boil, I'm going to cover this with a lid, reduce the heat to low, and cook this for about 18 minutes or until the rice is tender and all of the water is absorbed. Once that is done, I'm going to remove this from the heat and allow it to sit for five minutes. After that five minutes, I'm removing the lid and I'm going to stir in half of my almonds and just fluff that with a fork. And then that's it, the rice will be ready. Here's the finished pilaf and to go along with it, I made some roasted asparagus. So I took some asparagus, tossed it with just a little bit of avocado oil. You can use olive oil and some salt and pepper. I roasted it in a 400 degree oven while the rice cooks. So for about 15 to 18 minutes. And then we have the crock pot cranberry orange chicken. Like I said, this will be part of an upcoming Crocktober video. It will be out later this week. So keep an eye out for that. This is a really easy recipe. It's really dump and go and it's just really three ingredients. So like I said, if you'd like to see how I make that, check that video out. Here are the plates. So we have some of the chicken and the cranberry sauce from the crock pot. Then we have the rice pilaf. I added just a little extra um, of these sliced almonds on top and then the asparagus. And this was dinner this night. For the last dinner in this week's video, I tried a new recipe for chicken pillows. So let me show you how I made this. I'll include the recipe that I used in the description box below. I am having the recipe. In this bowl, I have some softened cream cheese. I'm just using, I can't say this, this new, I don't know, how, however you say that. <laughs> it's reduced fat cream cheese. And then I'm adding some melted butter and then seasoning this with some pepper. And this isn't in the recipe, but I had just made some homemade ranch dressing and I had this ranch seasoning still out on my counter. So I added just a little sprinkle of that and I'm going to mix that with a spoon until it's well combined. Then I'm going to mix in my milk. And then I'm going to add in my cooked chopped chicken. Now I had some cooked chicken left over from a recipe I made a couple weeks ago that I had put the chicken in my freezer and thawed it out, but this would be a great way to use up leftover chicken or rotisserie chicken. Or you could also buy the pre-cooked chicken in the bags that you can find um, like with the hot dogs and, and uh, deli meats. But once I've added my chicken, I'm going to stir it until it is mixed well and then move that to the side. Then I'm going to take my crescent rolls. now. The recipe said to take two crescent rolls and to pinch the seams together and make like one big rectangle. But again, having this recipe, I just wanted to use one of these smaller cans of crescent rolls. So what I did was just take one of the little triangles and then just form that into a rectangle. I'm going to add some of the filling and then pull the crescent dough over the filling to cover it and then just kind of flatten it out a little bit. I place it onto a greased baking dish, and then I'm going to take some of the remaining melted butter, brush that over top, and then I have these cheese and garlic croutons. I took some and just mashed them up with a measuring cup in this bag. I'm going to sprinkle the crushed croutons on top, and then that's it. These will go into a preheated oven. This was set at 350 degrees, and I baked it for 25 minutes. 
Here are the pillows out of the oven. I allowed them to sit for about five minutes before I served it up. And here are the finished plates. So we served the chicken pillows and then I made a side salad with some homemade ranch dressing. And that was our dinner this night. These were actually pretty tasty. I did see a version of this for like the quote unquote crack version where you would add some shredded cheese and bacon bits. And that sounds super delicious. So I'll definitely be making this again just as it is, but I'd also like to try it with the bacon bits and cheese. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video and got some dinner inspiration, and I hope that you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.